that kind of language is implicitly threatening to people whose day-to-day -day concerns are how do I increase my shareholder value? You know, how do I keep control of my business? How do I address my, 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 my actual uh, down-to-earth problems? People like that, you know, you, when you walk into their offices and say, you should use all open source for your business because sharing is good and hoarding is evil, it doesn't work. It just does as communication. It fails. I am not against business. I don't believe in abolishing business. I do business myself. But I believe business should not dominate all of life. The rules of society should not be chosen primarily to please business. In early 1998, majority usage in the community went from free software to open source in six weeks flat in the late spring, early summer of 1998. And that told me that there had been huge pent-up demand in the community for a way of, of explaining what we were doing that was, that was more effective. The whole attitude in the trade press and in the investor community completely turned around, 180 degrees. The same people who had spent years and years and years sneering dismissively at free software and you know talking about you know sandal wearing freaks with long hair those very same people within a year were falling all over themselves to write laudatory articles about the wonders of open source and peer review and this was really funny because it was the same software and in most cases the same people <laughs> <laughs>